Vanakam, I am Ashwin Srinivasan with Ashanti Omkar on Tamari.com. Um, let's start off talking about your your amazing flute. How did you hone this this great talent that you have? Yeah, it's a long story. I, I actually started playing the sitar when I was two and a half. Wow. And a freak accident to my finger just, you know, gave me some free time off the sitar. And you were two and a half? Yeah. I played <laughs> the baby sitar. My mother's a sitar player, so wow. I used to play the baby sitar. Oh. And then one fine day I just got hold of this uh, band flute that you, that you have. The, Pan pipes. The, the band flute. Oh, the band flute, okay. Yeah, the, the, the metallic ones. Yeah. And I just started randomly playing jingles and, you know, the by film ear. songs. And, yeah, just by ear. And that's how probably, it's, it's probably destiny. And then my uh, father took me to my first guru, Sri Venkatesh Gorkhinde in Hyderabad. And that's where it all started. And then I had a brief stint with uh, Pandit Pundalik Shenoy from Bangalore. And I also used to follow a lot of Pandit Hari Prasad Charasya's playing. Wow. Mm -hmm. And there was a time when I, you know, when somebody just commented that, you know, you're just blindly copying Hariji. And you need to do something of your own. And that's when, uh, you know, it, I, I mean, it dawned on me to try a new style. And that's when I also heard Dr. Inrajam, who is my current guru. And her, uh, fluency on the guy key technique yeah. for which he's famous yeah uh, really hit me hard and then I really wanted to follow that but I don't really follow her style right. I follow the technical aspects of it can I ask for you to, to play a little bit of the, the Hindustani flute for us sure all right <laughs> famous song in Carnatic classical music, which I would like to present it in my... Oh, in your song. style, yeah. fantastic. I'm sure you'll all know it. How you kind of grew to develop because I've seen your box of flutes. Mm -hmm. You've got like, like fifty flutes or something <laughs> in there in all these different sizes. Uh, how did how did that come by? Because you're probably doing lots of creative stuff with it that um, you know audiences don't even know about. Uh, well, it's it's quite basic, really, because the Indian basic. flute. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> did you just hear him play? This <laughs> <laughs> is basic. Uh, no, the, the Indian flute is basically designed to play scales from with, with one root note. In Indian music, we call it sa. 
and for example, this is uh, the sa for this flute is G, right? The note so, G, yeah. and so I I usually keep G as sa. But then later on, I realized that when you're doing commercial stuff, you can't say that I've got a G flute, mm -hmm. and you want to, uh, you have to keep the song in G. Right. So I happen to collect all these instruments, and I was not even aware of uh, you know how it happened. I, it was a slow learning process process for me, and. You know, I met up with this friend who makes my flutes. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> customized uh, flutes. Well, yes, and that's how it all transpired. And I just started collecting over a period of so many years, and I still do. And I also got into uh, collecting some exotic world instruments. Wow! Like, uh, you know, in fact, my inspiration for that have been two people: Pedro Eustachi, the guy with Yanni, and of course Aaron Navin. So Ashwin, tell me about your collaborations with Nitin because you've you've done so many tours. I've seen you on the Filter Tour, for example, mm -hmm. and dazzling audiences all over, you know, the UK, Europe. How how did that come about? Nitin was in India to record for the background score of a film called Hariyom, I think. Right, that with Bharat Bala, Bala. Yeah. And then later on, he came in to record for Filter, and that's when we met up, and you know, he, and of course. Uh, the namesake by Mira Nair. Yes. He came to record the score for that, and yeah. that's when he, you know, really wanted to know if I was up for touring with him. And there's also this lot of long, long distance touring issue. Uh, I mean, first me coming back, coming to London, and then yes. touring with him. Yeah. But yeah, I was up for it. I just then, uh, I was recently married then. Oh wow! But Congrats. then <laughs> it was a. It, it used to be a good reprieve. Sorry, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the experience of working with Nitin, he's a, he's a, he's a tremendous producer to begin with. And there's, there's a lot to learn from the way he works and the way he thinks. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, we hit it off because, uh, probably because he does everything else except playing the flute and <laughs> singing maybe, I don't know. There's a song called Koya yes, on oh, which I play. Songbird, yeah. yeah. So I'd just like to play a couple of times from Absolutely, please do. Of film scores in in India uh, within the film yes scores, yes yes I mean that's like uh, that's like saying it's almost my bread and butter really but the most memorable ones have been working with uh, Monty for both Devdas and Black Wow the background scores for them for them and of course uh, Savaria for which he scored Fantastic. and yeah. of course a lot of others like Salim Suleiman and is there a piece that you like to play for us? Something very pretty? I particularly liked uh, this track, Jab Se Tere Naina from Savaria. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks.